So let's talk lead generation. Here's the question that I'm often asked. People say to me words that mean this. Peter, how do I get a regular stream of qualified prospects who can become clients who are ready, willing and able to buy what it is that I supply? Now, I know the answer to that question. My name is Peter Thompson. I'm delighted to welcome you to this short message. And as the UK's most prolific information product creator, I've been in the fortunate position that over the last 27 years, particularly while I've been marketing informational products, I've got to learn a lot of very expensive mistakes, which I'm going to share with you so that you don't make those mistakes as well. I've got all my notes here about what we're going to be talking about today. So what I'd like to share with you is three specific sources, usually not thought about, where you can get a load, a stream of qualified clients ready, willing and able to buy what it is that you have to offer. So let's get straight into it. Here's the first one. And most people never even consider using this particular one. Here it is. Your current client list. Now, people often don't think of this as being their lead list, but it is. It's the best lead list that you've got. However, Unfortunately, most of the coaches, consultants, speakers, trainers, small business owners that I meet spend so much of their time, their effort, their energy and their money going out to a marketplace trying to attract new clients instead of saying, hang on a minute, what was the real question I was asking myself when I was thinking about lead generation? Did I say to myself, how do I get more leads? I may have said that, but it wasn't the real question. You see, most people don't ask themselves and most clients don't ask us the real question. They ask us a question about the wrong answer. This is what I'm thinking. Instead of asking the question, how do I get more leads? What's the real question? Let's take that a little further down the road into the future. I want more leads, why? So I can do more of the work that I do, that I love to do, why? So I can make more of a difference to my clients, which is what my purpose is, why? So I can make more money and build for myself a business and life of choice. So the real question is not how do I get more leads, but how do I make more money? How do I make more of a difference? How do I build my business into such a way that it gives me total choice in all the main choices in my life, where I work, when I work, with whom I work, why I work, how much money I make, etc. So let's just change that question for a moment or two. Instead of focusing on the lead generation over here, let's focus it a little further along. So if we look at our current client list and think of that as a lead list, the great thing is these people already know us. Because they're clients already, they obviously like us, otherwise they wouldn't stay. They trust us because they've already spent money with us and had results from us. Why wouldn't we think of them as our prime lead list and go, hmm, now, I wonder what else my clients, who already know, like, and trust me, would want to buy from me. And I bet that there's a good percentage, maybe 5%, 10% or more of your clients who want to spend far more money with you, who want to be closer to you, have more of what it is that you have to offer. So I would urge you to sit down, think about the offerings that you have, and think how you can expand them, how you can improve them, how you can deluxe them, and then approach this best lead list that you've got and talk to the clients who are already with you or past clients and let them know the extra level of services and products that you can supply. I think you'll be amazed how easy this is. And I think you'll equally be amazed and surprised, pleasantly surprised, how many people say yes to your offering and your offer. When I've shared this idea with my clients over the last 27 years, people like me and you, people in the helping industry, coaches, consultants, speakers, trainers, small business owners, and they've gone off and spoken to their clients about these improved services, these deluxe versions, invariably they've come back to me and said, Peter, I can't believe it, everybody says yes. Now, not everybody's gonna say yes, but trust me, a lot of people are. Now, the next list that you already have is this one. You have the current client list, but however, you have the people who know your current clients. If we're looking for leads to be people who are qualified in some way, in the sense that they, they fit our avatar, avatar profile, then why not talk to people we already deal with who no doubt do fit that avatar profile because the chances are they know people who are similar to themselves. So if we set up for ourselves a systemized referral process to ask our current clients 
for what I call personal introductions, which sounds a little better than referrals, doesn't it? Personal introductions, then as long as we hit the first three things, which are so important, if we get these bits right, number one, you must have a script. You needn't sound wooden with a script, particularly if you practice it. You know, you go and see a play somewhere and it's a script. You go and see a film, it's a script. You go and see good salespeople, it's a script. However, they've practiced it and practiced it and practiced it and made it who they are. So it doesn't sound like a wooden script. It's, it's carefully prepared and practiced. So they must have a script. Secondly, we must have a system so we know exactly when we do it, how we do it, who we do it to and with. And we must have specifics. So script, system, specifics. What do I mean by specifics? Well. When we're asking our clients for referrals, we must tell them specifically who we're looking for. In other words, we've got to tell them what a good referral looks like. Because if we don't, they're going to introduce us to all sorts of people who don't fit the avatar of the people we want to talk to. So they're not qualified. They're not the right people. We're going to be wasting our time, effort, energy, and money. Now, in a minute, I'm going to tell you one hidden benefit of having a systemized referral process. But we'll get to that in a moment or two. And the third area, and again, a high percentage of success area, just like current clients and referrals, is people who are looking for what we have. Rather than going to people who don't even know they've got a problem and having to stir them up and say, oh, by the way, did you know you've got this problem? Rather than looking at people who've got a problem and they've recognized they've got a problem but don't know how to solve it, next stage up, Rather than looking at people who've got a problem, know they've got to solve it, realize there's a solution out there, rather than looking for people who've got a problem, know there's a solution, etc., but know we might be part of that. No. How about finding people who are already searching for what it is that we have? When I say searching, what do I mean? Well, they're searching for products on Amazon, they're searching for stuff on eBay, and they're searching in Google and Bing and all the search engines for what it is that we have. So using Google AdWords, for example, you can find out what people are searching for. And with the keyword research, you can know the various computations and variations on that. So there are three very quick, very simple, but very powerful ideas that you can take away and use. And in a second, I'll tell you that hidden benefit of having a systemized referral process. Well, let's just recap. So if we're looking for more leads, what we do to start with, like any question we ask ourselves, we ask ourselves, what's the real question? Let me give an example. Um, imagine saying to somebody in your household, you say, um, are you going to the kitchen? You didn't want to know if they were going to the kitchen. The real question was, would you make me a cup of tea or a coffee? That was the real question. And, and customers and clients and patients do this to us. They ask questions thinking they know what they're looking for, but in fact they don't because you and I are the experts in our chosen area, aren't we? So firstly, we want to go to thinking about the question. Are we asking ourselves the right question? Secondly, we want to be approaching our current customer, client or patient database to make sure that we're maximizing the value that we can deliver and maximize the return that we get from it. Next, we want to have a referral system, but with the three S's, we must have a script, we must have a system, and we must understand the specifics. And thirdly, we can be out there talking to the people who are actually looking for what it is that we have to offer. So what's this hidden benefit, as I call it, of having a systemized referral process? It's this. It's a temperature check of your relationship with that particular client, customer, or patient. Because if you ask someone for referrals or personal introductions and they go, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get back to you on that, you know there's a problem with the relationship, don't you? Straight away you know there's a problem. If somebody says to, oh yes, I've got three names and I'll get back to you next week, and they never do when you chase them, which is a terrible thing to be doing, but you chase them and they're still going, you know that there is a problem. And what would you and I rather know? Would we rather know that there's a problem in our relationship and have the opportunity to solve it, or would we rather be blissfully unaware? Obviously the former. So I'm sure you can take these ideas away and use them for your lead generation to bring in more pre-qualified clients, predisposed to buy what it is you have. And you know what's great about this? You don't have to convince them. And you know my feeling on this. I don't like convincing people. 
I like to be convincing. And if you're dealing with people who already know you, like you, and trust you, you don't have to convince them. They've already been convinced or they've con convinced themselves. You just have to be convincing about what it is that you're offering and the value that they get from it. Obviously a good offering and obviously a good offer. So I wish you success in all your adventures in life as you take this away and use it so that you have freedom from anything that may have held you back and freedom to be, do and have. Always in that order. Be it, do it and have it. Anything you set your heart and mind upon. I hope you enjoy these as much as I enjoy putting them together. There will be more for you from the workshop of lead generation. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click to watch the next video. Remember to visit our website at peterthompson.com and download your free copy of my latest book, How to Write Your Business Book in Five Days or Less. Until next time, every success.